Are you using the WooCommerce plugin to run your online business? If the answer is yes, you must have known how important the checkout page is for an e-commerce store. If the shoppers don't find this page convenient enough, they are most likely to leave the store without purchasing anything and never come back. Most of the online buyers prefer a simple, neat, and clean checkout page so that they don't mess up when filling out the form during the checkout process. Well, to relieve both you and your potential customers from this suffering, the Woo Lentor plugin has come to the rescue by providing an outstanding feature named Multi-Step Checkout. This incredible feature allows you to create a more effective and organized checkout page by dividing the checkout process into several simpler steps. In today's video, I am going to show you how to integrate this amazing feature into your WooCommerce store step by step. So, without further ado, let's get started. After installing the Woo Lentor plugin, you will see a menu appearing on the left side of the dashboard panel named Woo Lentor. If you are not familiar with the Woo Lentor plugin already, make sure you watch the introductory video of Woo Lentor by clicking on the I button. Now let's go to the Woo Lentor settings page and click on the Other tab. In this tab, there are many options available. Among these options, you will find an option named Multi-Step Checkout. To activate the Multi-Step Checkout feature on your store, enable this option. After enabling the feature, let's create a new template from the Templates menu. Here you can select the type of template. Now give the template a name and click on the Create Template button. Once the template is created, you will be redirected to the Elementor edit screen. Now, I am going to create a multi-step checkout page. First, search for the multi-step checkout widget in the search box. Drag the widget to the right side. A multi-step checkout form will appear on the right side once the widget is added. Here, you will see that the long and tedious checkout process has been divided into multiple steps to make the whole process easier for your customers. Let's go ahead and explore all the widget settings. From the button panel, you will find an option to display or hide a button using which you can go back to the cart page. Here you can also change the text for the back to cart button. If you want to change the text for the next and previous buttons, you can also do that from here. When a customer is interested in purchasing any product from your store, Without logging into the store, you can provide them with a link to skip the login part. This plugin enables you to change the link text. In the Forms panel, you can manage all the form-related settings, such as Billing Form Title, Shipping Form Title, Additional Information Form Title, and so on. Once you make all the changes to the template as per your requirements, make sure to save the template. Now. Let's navigate to the Woo Lentor settings page again and click on the WooCommerce template tab. After that, set the newly created template as the checkout page template and save the changes. Once the changes are saved, let's check how the new multi-step checkout page looks like. Now let's go ahead and populate the form fields with sample data to see how the multi-step checkout feature works. Starting off with the billing details form, Now click on the Next button and fill out the Shipping Details form. After clicking on the Next button for the second time, you will be taken to the next step, where you can review your order details. After reviewing the details, click on the Next button to move on to the next step. You can choose the payment method and place the order from here. Pretty simple, right? Integrating the multi-step checkout feature into a WooCommerce store has never been easier. If you want to reduce the percentage of cart abandonments while increasing the conversion rate at the same time by offering a simple checkout process to your online buyers, the multi-step checkout feature is worth checking out. So, this is how you can easily split the traditional and long checkout process into multiple steps to offer a better user experience to your potential customers. If you have any queries or suggestions about this feature, please drop us a comment below we'd appreciate any kind of feedback. So, that's it from me today, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.